It's been three months since X Factor star and former rugby player Levi Davis went missing whilst abroad in Spain. The 24-year-old was last spotted in October in a bar in Barcelona. In those three months, Levi has not been heard from. And apart from a few reported sightings, unconfirmed, his whereabouts still completely unknown. Well, back in November, his lovely mum joined us on this programme with her plea to Levi. Levi, please, son, if you, you see this um, message, please, please get in touch. Um, I can't begin to understand how you're feeling, um, but just know that I do love you and our family loves you. We just want you home. Well, Julie is back on the show this morning, going to speak to her in just a moment. First, though, we sent our reporter, Nick Dixon, to Barcelona to investigate. And, Nick, bring us up to date with what you've uncovered. Good morning to you, Susanna. I think, unfortunately, for the family and Levi's friends, the investigation, certainly in more recent times, has been very slow and very frustrating for them because there has been a distinct lack of new information and new leads. Certainly, some people have come forward with a few tip-offs, alleged sightings you referred to, some of them here in Barcelona, different areas of the city, others in places like Lisbon, Portugal, Gibraltar as well, but nothing concrete that the police can really work on and move forward with the investigation. A private investigation team is here in Barcelona working on this case as well. They're pushing the police to focus their attention on the port area of the city and what may have occurred there in the hours after he disappeared. That's, remember, where his passport was found, albeit sometime later. But for now, his family and friends desperately need a breakthrough. So this is obviously the view. It was on October 29th last year when Levi Davis left a friend's house in Ibiza abruptly and took a ferry over to the port of Barcelona. This video was filmed during the journey, Levi's voice barely audible over the heavy winds, but that's him saying, look, mum, it is absolutely beautiful. Now, when he arrived in Barcelona, he came to this area here, very close to the famous Rambla pedestrian shopping area, and he spent time at the old Irish pub. Whilst at the pub, Levi sent his mum this video of a band playing, telling her he'd arrived. Now, crucially, the CCTV camera here at the pub recorded Levi leaving this area at 10 p.m. Later that night, Levi walked 10 minutes or so from the Irish pub to the Hard Rock Cafe. Now, the police haven't released the footage, but they have confirmed he was recorded on CCTV. Levi's phone signal was picked up close to the city's Sants mainline train station, his last known movement that night. The case has had a huge amount of attention here in Spain. A podcast speculating on what could have happened to Levi has been released focusing on a possible kidnapping. Now, one week after Levi was reported missing, the police said that they'd found his passport here in the port at Barcelona in the commercial area very close to a cargo shipment. Since Levi's disappearance, there have been various reports of possible sightings in and around the centre of Barcelona. His family remain hopeful that he can be found and continue to appeal for anyone with information to come forward. And Levi's mum, Julie, joins us now. Oh, Julie, you know, we last saw you back at the end of last year, shortly after Levi went missing. You would have hoped in three months that you could have, you know, him home, of course. Mm. How hard is it for you to sort of hear the, mm. the reported developments in the case, but not have Levi back? It's been very, very difficult. Um, I've been trying to take one day at a time. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, I only recently started back work. Um, just to, you know, you know, I suppose have some kind of normality. Mm -hmm. um, uh, because I think sitting at home and looking at the four walls, just, yeah, do my head in, <laughs> I suppose. Of course. Mm. We saw that 
video in Nick Dixon's report of Levi on the ferry. Mm. After that, he went to the pub mm. in Barcelona. Mm. And that was where he was last sighted on CCTV on October the 29th, the old Irish pub in Barcelona. He, in fact, sent you video from that. Yes, he, he did, yes. Yeah. Um, he, in the video, he was just sort of, you know, showing me the pub itself. Mm. And, you know, he basically just looked like he was enjoying himself, having a good time. It looked like the, um, the normal Levi you know. Yeah, 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 exactly. Having a good time in Barcelona. Yes. So you yeah. didn't at that stage have any concern about how he was feeling, no, how he was whatsoever. doing? No. He just seemed to be enjoying himself. That's right. Was that the last yeah. contact you had with him? Pretty much. Um, I mean, the very, I think, also on that night, he'd, he'd made uh, uh, a phone call to me just to say, oh, Mum, you know, I'm thinking of going on um, to, you know, stay at a hostel. Um, over here uh, before I take my next journey, wherever mm. that was going to be, because he left it quite open. Um, and he just um, requested, you know, a few pounds to stay in a hotel there. Yeah. Um, and I, uh, I said, oh, Levi, you know, gosh, how many more times do you want to, you know, borrow some money off, off me? It's like, you know, mum being mum. Yeah. Uh, I said, right, no, you're going to have to sort yourself out this time, no, I'm not, I'm not going to do it. So um, he says, oh, it's all right, Mum, don't worry, I've got some other friends I can, you know, get in touch with who will be able to help me out. And uh, that uh, was pretty much the last phone call. We both got yeah. um, children, Susanna and I, around the same age as Levi. We know what it's yeah. like when they go off travelling and no. you want to get the messages and the no. videos. It's mm. just your worst nightmare suddenly to, to lose contact. Really is, really is. And, you know, um, and I've said this before, there's always that mother, mother's instinct. And just before he left, you know, the, there was a message that, I don't know, maybe, you know, powers from above, that said uh, to me, give him a hug, cause you just don't know if this is going to be your last. Mm -hmm. And, um... <sighs> what, do you know what? What's encouraging about Nick being out there is he says there's so much effort mm. being put into finding Levi the police are on it. We've seen the signs around on lamppost podcasts. Are you encouraged by how much people are doing to try and find Levi and try and find out what happened to him? Um, I've had a lot of um, support with the family, friends, mm. and of course the, the private investigator has been working, you know, very hard. Yeah. And uh, the Spanish police, have, you know, they've done their bit as well. But I think where it's been quite difficult is, um, you know, not sort of having the information come through, because, of course, there's the language, language barrier. barrier. Um, and, um, you know, having to sort of go via the British consulate before, you know, and then the feedback is uh, of news or updates is very slow. Is it? Mm. Very slow. Would you like the British consulate to be doing more to help? Yes, I mean, I know they are pressing, um, but uh, in terms of uh, updates and things like the CCTV um, coverage, you know, we got um, information back saying, well, you know, unfortunately it's too late mm. um, because we had to get, the Spanish police had to go to court to get, um, you know, papers signed so they could access the CCTV coverage. And, you know, by the time they, they did get it, all the uh, oh. video had been deleted, so... Oh, that's uh, so frustrating. It's very frustrating. Very, very frustrating. All of us, all our viewers, we're all, we're all desperately hoping yeah. that we can... That, that there'll be some good news for you. We really, really hope there will be. Julie, Thank you. we're all with you. Thank you. We'll keep on it. Yeah. Thank you. And, Thank you, so um, you know, our hearts are with you, honestly. Thank you. We, you know, 
Lots of love, okay? It's the Thank toughest you. times. Yeah. Okay, you're watching Good Morning Britain on ITV. We'll be back. <laughs>